So today we're going to talk about how to calculate the left atrium volume index, which is a useful measure that we look at, especially when we're serially monitoring PDA shunt volume before and after treatment. And of course, this is an important part of the targeted neonatal echocardiography protocol. So what do we need to calculate left atrium volume index? What measurements we need? So for that, we need the left atrial area in the apical four chamber view. Also, we need left atrial area in the apical two chamber view. So you need two views. And then we need LA length, which can be from either of these views. But also we need the height and weight so we can index the volume to that. This is the first view that we need, which is the apical four chamber view. As you can see, this is the right side of the heart here with the right atrium on the top and the right ventricle on the bottom. And this is the left side of the heart here with the left ventricle on the bottom. And this is the left atrium. So here we need to measure the area of the left atrium. And this is before the mitral valve opens. So you can see here that the mitral valve is closed, right? This is the second view that we need, which is the apical two chamber view showing the left ventricle on the bottom and the left atrium on the top. Similarly, we stop the clip and then we trace the left atrium to get the, its area before the mitral valve opens. As you can see here, also the mitral valve is closed, right? And then for the length of the left atrium, we get it from any of these views. For example, here I'm getting it from the apical four chamber view can see this is the length and then based on these measurements the software is going to construct a 3d shape of the left atrium and then it's going to estimate its volume in this example for instance the left volume index was 21.3 which is a useful number to look at during the subsequent assessments i hope that was helpful and see you in the next video